Hey guys, here I am in the food forest again. I am next to my hazelnut trees, two hazelnut bushes, an apple, a gooseberry, and a cherry. And what I wanted to talk about was comfrey. You can see how big that comfrey is. It's so big that it's kind of starting to smother out the gooseberry. So I wanted to talk about how comfrey can be a great friend or it can be your worst enemy. Probably not your worst enemy, because if you get the right kind, it doesn't spread, it just keeps getting big. This is the Russian Bocking, I think Russian Bocking 14. And you can see, all I'm really doing is pulling the leaves off, and then I'm laying it down as mulch. But if you forget, every couple months, that you need to come in here and pull all this comfrey down, it will smother out your plants, just like it smothers out the weeds that you don't want. Because that is what this does, it smothers everything out, and it produces so much vegetable matter that it is the ultimate mulcher because it wants to grow. If you have enough water there to grow a gooseberry or a cherry or a hazelnut, you have enough water here to grow comfrey. And it means that instead of having to buy mulch, you're just coming out every couple months just as it needs to be mulched. You're coming out and you're just pulling it down. And it's easier for me to do this with my little loppers, but I am trying to do it with while holding a camera. So the other thing you will see in here is you have some dead things. If you do not clip it back in winter, then it just kind of turns brown. And you will have to come in and clean that out. So I think it's easier to do it while it's green. You can see how much uh, biomass it creates and how well it mulches out. And then it adds fertility because it also has nitrogen in it unlike wood mulch or straw. It actually has vitality, vitamins. I believe it's potassium that it's really high in. It mines nutrition and then it feeds your plant. So this is just one. And you can see what it's done to the gooseberry. It's kind of flattened it out. It hasn't really bothered the cherry. This is a bush cherry. But then there's where I'm laying it down and I just wanted to give you that tip is that if you're going to grow comfrey, you need to harvest it. Uh, it. You can lay it in place or you can feed it to your rabbits, you can feed it to your goats, you can feed it to your ducks, but make sure you harvest it. Not to the point where it doesn't have a chance to grow back. Wait for it to get big before you chop it, but um, keep using it. So hopefully that was helpful. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know and we'll talk to you later.